Season 3 is right around the corner, guys, and we're going to take a few minutes today to discuss everything that we'd like to see and everything that we're expecting to see for the upcoming season. In today's video, we're going to go over the new map changes, the rank changes, any game updates that we could figure out, some details about the lore that seems to be profiling, and any weapon and kit changes that should be expected to come up in the next few weeks. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in the news and updates for the finals. We're gonna start today with the ranked mode update. Well, season two saw some pretty strange and not always clear changes of the rank system going from having the initial progression bar to no progression bar at all. And then after that to the plus three minus three system, it sometimes felt like Embar didn't know exactly where they were going. And this seems to have caused a little bit of a misunderstanding on the player side. Thankfully, Embark seems to have heard the message and it seems like they are working on developing the rank system further as we see with the rumors of the Ruby League coming up for season three, as well as the possibility of finally having the role queue enabled, similar to what we see in Overwatch or other similar FPS games, it seems that we are going to see a lot of modifications again for season three, which should enhance our game experience. Moving on to the expected map changes for Season 3, we have a few things here worth mentioning. There are currently rumors circulating about the map Cis Horizon coming back to a normal state post-CNS hack, meaning that the map should see a whole array of changes, like the colors of the map, the pixelization theme, but also the global environment and feel of the map. The topic of the Japanese theme is also coming back in force with the option of having the new map being centered around Tokyo and maybe even Shibuya itself with images being analyzed giving strangely similar looking features as to what can be seen in Japan. What is sure is that there will definitely be a new map in the upcoming season as we have seen Rob from Embark confirm he has been testing out his light scales on the map itself but the certainty of the locality is still to be discussed and quite a heated topic currently on Reddit. Let me know in the comments what your opinion is and which city you think will be covered next. A lot has been happening on games updates, so let's focus on that for the next couple of minutes. Let's start with a highly anticipated and exciting announcement. The confirmed upcoming text chat being added to the finals in Season 3. It is now official that the text-based feature will be released at the start of the season and this couldn't come in a better moment. With players being segmented between those using communication group voice chat channels, those who only turn comms on but never want to speak for various reasons, and those who simply don't have or don't want to turn VOIP on, it is currently quite difficult to push teamwork and renders the experience of solo queuing quite difficult. With the introduction of text-based chat, simple callouts, comments or requests will be able to be given no matter the VOIP settings of each account and that should help new players stick to the game when trying it out, which in turn will help grow our community. On a similar topic, there have also been sounds raising about a future potential introduction of a proximity voice chat. While this is probably unrealistic for Season 3, it would be quite hilarious and a very interesting addition to the game if this feature was indeed added in the future. Maybe as a separate mode, I don't know, time will tell. We also have Embark reopening and confirming that they are hearing us regarding the marketing of the game. While we have seen improvements throughout Season 2 with social media ads appearing here and there, it still feels as if Embark could put more energy into marketing their own game and this seems to be coming up strong for Season 3. This is amazing news because it not only means our community of players will grow but also means that Embark is seemingly making positive income that they can now start re-injecting in different pipelines of the game that they didn't have access to up until now. Now, the following is more of a personal wish which seems to be resonating with us as a whole, but a new game mode would be most welcome. A free-for-all type of game without cash features and fully centered around the number of kills or a moving payload type of gameplay could really fit into the game and seems to be a step away from the terminal attack mode they have recently released. If not, it would be nice to see a comeback of the unranked tournament mode which was a fan favorite to avoid the sweaty matches that the rank mode usually allies with. Also, and this one seems to be in the works if we look at all the updates that were made for it throughout Season 2, it would be great to see Embar keep building on the custom private matches by adding even more features, modes and possibilities like for example being able to join a match as a solo unit rather than with a minimum of two people as it is now. 
The next point is again more of a personal observation, and I would love to hear if I'm the only one being weirded out by it, but there is currently a weird system regarding additional cashouts that actually has a strong influence on the game. As you all know, a cashout takes 130 seconds to fully load, but if you wait for the last second of a match, the full cashout time will be 61 seconds instead with additional time. The problem is that the logo of the loading of the cashout doesn't indicate the time, and this makes it very confusing in-game while you're focused focusing on surviving. It would be a great change to the game if the cashout tick could be modified to indicate exactly how many seconds are remaining. Finally, on the topic of game changes, we have the concept of vehicles making a comeback. Embark had previously announced the possibility of adding small vehicles in the game and while it seems quite confusing how they will manage to make this viable in the currently existing maps, it could be a huge leap forward and the opening of a completely new chapter for the finals if this was done smartly. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Regarding the lore of the game, we also see changes and follow-ups coming for Season 3. We already have had a new sponsor being leaked on the 2.9 update of the game called Trentilla, which points towards the development of the lore regarding the financing of the game after the CNS hack. The fact that the Cis Horizon map is being remade to a non-hacked format and the appearance of the terminal attack from CNS also seems to indicate that the story will keep revolving around the interference by CNS and its impact on the fame the finals game in lore. We have also seen an image being extracted from the game files very recently with a code that was deciphered to say reboot required, which could either be linked to an entire reboot of the game, maybe to facilitate the reforming of the light class for example, or simply the next chapter of the CNS situation in reference to the Cis Horizon map update. On a separate note, we have also seen developments regarding the dolphin easter egg that has started in season 2, and it now seems that with season 3 will come a secret dolphin easter egg charm that you will need to figure out in-game to unlock. To make it work, you will just need to get into the head of a dolphin and figure out what a dolphin would do. Finally, but still seemingly important, some people have noticed a date appearing on the top left corner of the CNS tag in-game with a series of numbers that seem to be referring to the season 2 June 1st. It is quite unclear what this could mean yet, but June 1st is right around the corner, so keep your eyes and ears open for any exciting follow-up. Our last topic to cover for season 3 is the upcoming changes for weapons and kits. I'll start with something that I am very excited to see, the removal of the animation cancelling for the sword melee weapon. This exploit has been poisoning games for far too long and it was time that Embark tackled the issue. The expected DPS for this weapon is supposed to be 140. Currently, with the exploit, players could easily double that value, making it by far the strongest weapon in the game. Luckily, Embark has heard the players complaining and decided to completely remove the possibility starting at Season 3. Also, while it has not yet been confirmed, it is expected that Embark will mimic their approach regarding Season 3 as they did for Season 2. This means that we can confidently expect at least one more weapon per class added to the game. Looking back on the beginning of our current season, the new weapons had felt quite underwhelming and a little disappointing as they were very quickly moved out of the meta. We can hope that Embark has learned from their mistakes and will this time probably go for the other extreme. This means that we can expect very strong weapons to be added to to the game that will probably be nerfed down as the season goes by. Still, on the topic of weapons, we can also hope for new weapon types, but this would only be speculations since Embark has not yet made any update on the matter. To finish it off, I'd like to mention the strong possibility that the shield meta and the current strength that heavies represent is surely going to change, with the recent addition of glitch canisters and probably more to come between tools and possible nerf of the heavy class themselves, we can easily forecast a strong change in the meta and the heavy nerf of the shields in the game. It is also not confirmed in any shape or form by Embark, but those changes could also be linked to a possible change in the health pools of each class to rebalance the game and reinstate the light class in the rank mode of the game. Guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future content from this channel. It was my absolute pleasure to have a chance to discuss any future possible changes coming up for season three. And now guys, the last thing that remains to be said is that I will see you on the next one.